Hello, welcome back. This is Kenshin1913, and we are Let's Playing Nino Kuni, Wrath of the White Witch. In the last episode, we did two of the trials of the Temple of Trials. So now we're going to do the third trial, which is the Trial of Strength. So I'm going to take off this Burning Blade, because this guy is strong against fire. Also, you might want to equip Esther's Go-Go familiar with uh, a water ability if you have it. If not, don't worry about it. So yeah, this last play trial is going to take place in a secret place. Door, door, up from the floor, abracadabra. Nice, abracadabra. So now we can go in there and take on the final test. So let's do it. Let's head on in and deal with the final trial. Which is the test of strength, which of course, we're going to be fighting a battle. This is the final trial. Do -do -do -do. This looks a bit flipping serious. Do, 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 do. <gasps> Whoa. Jeepers. Do, 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 do. Oliver, do, 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 do. look. Oh, look, it's a big flame guy. Is it Gilgamesh? No, it's Bashura. Final test of Temple Trial. So this guy can be a little difficult because he pretty much attacks whoever you're not controlling. That's one of the things that he does. Now one of the things also... Uh, yeah, you want to defend against that. Yeah, that's particularly nasty. But do not attack this guy from behind. As you can see, he's got this big shield back there. And he can be pretty tough, so mind over matter. Don't worry about that. Well, I guess you should. Never mind. If you don't mind, it don't matter, right? So let's bring in our Sid guy and let's use a water bomb and see how that works. Ah, that's kind of shitty. How about you? Yeah, you're. Uh... Yeah, so Drippy comes in here and he's like, oh, he's got a big old shield protecting him in the back. So you gotta fight him from the front. So yeah, let's bring in the might again. Alright, now this is gonna be a nasty attack. Oh no, I guess not. Alright, devastation. Nice, we defended. Eventually we are gonna get like a, a command where we can have everybody defend. But that's another battle mechanic that'll pop up later. Right. Let's try out Oliver's spells. Let's see how much frostbite does. Oh, not too bad. 46. That's actually pretty good. So I guess he's more weak to ice than he is, uh, water. Which I really didn't think that there would be a big difference. Alright, let's finish him off with Mike. The Mighty. And there we go. Not too difficult. Take that Bashura. Or Ashura. Go say hi to Levi Leva Leviathan for me. There we go. So yeah, that wasn't too difficult. And we get to test the strength, which means now we can truly be a true sage or some shit like that. And he 
gives us the bridge spell, which we can use to make uh, bridges. And Broom Broom, which I think is used for a couple quests. Yeah, you want to give them if they're rubbish. So now he's going to teach us some familiar stuff. Pretty much taming familiars is pretty much how we'll get more familiars in this game. So we have to say our name. I'm just about to tell you, aren't I stupid? Yeah, so Esther is going to be in charge of... Uh, she's going to be in charge of making or recruiting monsters in this game. It's kind of similar to, like, uh... I don't know, Dragon Monster. Quest monsters or something? Here, take this! It's called the Heart's Winning Heart! Wow, it's beautiful! Yeah, it is pretty cool. So now she's got a new weapon just like Oliver. Hmm. Yeah, it's probably easier to show. So now that we have these three familiars that we can actually get. Yeah, so pretty much you're going to tame en uh, enemies during battles. So don't worry. And, and I believe we can recruit most of these familiars later anyway, so you can just pick one that you want now. So yeah, when these hearts appear above their head during battle is when you can actually when you can actually uh, use uh, use the serenade ability and then you gotta get them. I'll show you in battle. <laughs> Excuse me, it is pretty it is pretty uh, simple to do. Sometimes it can be a pain, but I totally suggest uh, in the very beginning try to pick up as many familiars as you can because there's going to be quests where you're going to need to get certain familiars to show them to people. So it's just a good idea to try and get as many as you can as you're going throughout the game. Whenever you get a chance to steal uh, or grab some familiars, you can. So which one am I going to choose? Let's talk to this one. So yeah, you can talk to one of them before you actually do anything. Yeah. So that one's an all-rounder. I'm not going to pick that one. This is a boggly boo. Yeah, I'm probably not going to use this guy either. And the reason why is because I want healing. So, I'm going to pick this one. This is a Nyad. This is the character I'm going to get. That's the one that I want to see her name. Because he or she or whatever is going to have terrific healing. And I want to get that. I'd rather have healing than attack because I'm going to get uh, familiars that are going to do attacks and shit. So, so I'm not worried. Hey. Here we go. Welcome to Familiar Training 101. So then, what we're going to do is pick Esther. Then we're going to pick which familiar we want to fight. Yeah, you got beat it up in battle. Then it'll show a little heart, and then that's when you serenade it. So I'm gonna fight the Lagoon Nyad. So you just gotta take it out. And what is gonna happen here is once you defeat it, it'll do that. Now you got now you got a little heart symbol for Esther. You're gonna click on the heart symbol. Yeah. That means you can tame that mo that creature. Yeah, you have to do it kind of quick, otherwise it'll run back in the battle. 
or run away. So let's serenade it. And now here we can serenade it. Which pretty much recruits it. And there we go, we tamed the Lagoon Nyad. And once again I pick once again I picked this one because I want to get uh, the healing ability that it has. It's got a really nice heal all ability, but it won't be for it won't be for a little while that we actually get it. Now stuff about familiar I'm gonna talk about familiars once we're done here. So yeah, we got it. We tamed a creature. Now we can tame all kinds of creatures outside. Yeah, so we can collect up to three extra ones, plus the, the ones, the three that we use in battle. And then we're going to get uh, this guy here, where we can actually store familiars in, up to 400, so we should be good. Yeah, it'll take any familiars that you don't need and put them in there. So as you're collecting them, you can actually put them in there. So that's really good. But yeah, so familiars, each character that we get actually has a familiar that they are more, uh, that they like more, so they'll actually be better with them. So, it's pretty nice. So like Oliver's mites, and there's all kinds of other shit. Like, I'll explain a little bit more. They pretty much, there's a certain group that they like. So this is Metamorphosis. Pretty much after a familiar gets to a certain level, and you have a certain item, you can use them on your familiar to bring, to morph them into a stronger version of themselves. So now, now if we come in here, you can see that little blue sign there, it says metamorphosis. That means that he's on a level where you can metamorphosize him. Now, I'm pretty sure you don't have to do this, so what you have to do is feed him a sun drop. Each monster, each familiar will be different because... You know, it all depends on their sign. And so, yeah, I, I, I don't think you have to do this. Because there's an ability I would have rather learned with him at level 50. Than turned him into a familiar here. So, I'm not 100% sure you need to do this. So, what ends up happening is this familiar. He transforms into a better version. But, he starts at level 1. Now, he does keep all the skills that you have. And a lot of the times when you metamorphosize a... Familiar, they actually increase their uh, slot to put another another skill in or a trick. So that's pretty cool. But uh, yeah, I don't know if you have to do that right there because I would rather not. Just because I uh, I would rather have uh, I would have rather had him, you know, get that last ability. So the thing about familiars is you can give them treats to make them to make them. Uh, to make them like more familiar with you I guess yeah they go back to level one but you have to train them up but they'll be more powerful than when they were on level wh whatever 18 hey yeah so kind of like Dragon Quest monsters some monsters actually cap off at like lower levels and some monsters actually like uh have a h higher level cap or a lower level cap um so you can ha so some of the first like when you collect certain familiars you'll get them at one at level one usually or like their first stage of evolution and then um what is it uh you get them at their first stage of evolution. I, I highly suggest you do that versus collecting a monster that like is already at the next stage. Just because you can do more customization with them at the first level. So, yeah, now we have a mite here. He has a lot more abilities he can learn. He has one extra spot that he can put stuff in. It's pretty nice. I actually didn't want to change him, but I think they force you to do that. Now you can now you can go the familiar retreat. 
So yeah, uh, different familiars level up faster or slower versus other ones. And if you want, you can level like familiars up to 50 or whatever. I don't know, whatever the level is, and then metamorphosize them where they'll actually be stronger then. And also you can feed them, that also helps them have higher stats later on too. And the more like, uh, I guess friendship or whatever the hell, I don't know what the word is right now. And yeah, the Coliseum, the Coliseum will come back here and do some familiar fights later. But anyways, uh, pretty much, pretty much familiars are fun, is what I'm trying to get at. And that each each one's different. Each character, each uh, human character has like a, uh, a a certain breed of familiar that they enjoy to use, and they use them better than any of the other ones. And then there's other ones as well. So uh, I'll explain more as we go. But yeah, so now we can capture familiars. So what I want to actually do is for the next quest we're going to be doing, I want to capture a sun guy. I want to capture a banana guy, and I want to capture a turban guy. Uh-oh. What the hell just happened there? Old Smokey. Yeah, it's proper huge. So something just happened up there. We're gonna have to go up to Old Smokey and stop and probably put that boulder back, yeah, so that it doesn't explode. The music here is really good. Yeah, so Drippy really didn't want to go, but you know what? You gotta. You gotta save the day. We're the hero. Alright, so now what I'm going to try and do is recruit some of these guys. And hopefully show you off. If I don't, I'm going to do it off screen between episodes. So now our might here. Yeah, his attack power is going to be garbage. Because he's on level 1, what do you expect? But by the time he gets to level 18 in this new... On this new, uh, abil or this new, like, tier of whatever... It'll be a lot stronger. We did it! Which I guess is alright, but I, I don't want I don't want the thing was I didn't want to do that, but whatever. But yeah, this this uh na mainad or nanad or whatever the hell it is is gonna be proper useful. So yeah, I wanna collect a sun guy, a banana guy, and a turban go. guy. A purple turban looking Here fella. Because I wanna, I want to collect uh, familiars, and like I said, it, it's a good idea to try and get as many as you can early on, so that you don't have to, uh, you don't have to get them later and have to deal with. Oh God, I gotta go back and get this one. But the nice thing too about this is, you know how we're doing like little quests and we get to all those stamps and collect cards. Pretty much, uh, the, I think there's a there's an, a reward for that that'll help you actually get familiars easier. Here we go. So that's pretty cool. Here we go. So yeah, for the rest of this video, I'm pretty much just gonna try and get the familiars that that I, I want to get. Because like I said, there's gonna be quests where uh, a certain character, a certain person's gonna be asking for. They're gonna be asking for. Uh, you know, certain familiar. They want to see these familiars, so you gotta get them for them. And uh, yeah, it's just a good idea to get them. So yeah, once you get, once uh, your familiars get to a certain level, they'll have like a blue thing that says they can metamorphose. Uh, it, it's actually sort of like Shining Force, if you think about it. Like, you know how you can like promote yourself at level 10, but if you wait until you're level 20, you'll actually be better off. That's kind of like similar to what this is. So, 
if you do get a character that is uh, metamorphosized or whatever, it says it can do it, I highly suggest to keep leveling him up a couple more levels before turning him into, before, like, trying to make him a better character. It's pre the, pretty much the way that I look at it is, like, let's say there's a skill. Like, for the might, there was a skill uh, that he would get when he ma made it to level 50. But the thing is, I didn't get to level 50, so I didn't get a chance to use it. So what I would suggest is, if you want the skills, to level your character up and get the skills that you want before metamorphosizing them. Now some care some familiars will get skills early on, so you might be more inclined to metamorphosize them earlier, but I suggest you go a few levels afterwards. Let's this is go. my suggestion. Esther, leave it to me. Oliver, I'll do my best. Here goes. Yeah, for some reason these guys do not want to uh, you know fall down and go you know boom or whatever. So yeah, you want to get a green buncher, a bandit, a tur bandit, and a uh, sunshine. But yeah, so like I said, just keep fighting. I mean, it's worth it because, you know, you got to bring these familiars up. Anyways, so that, uh, yeah, let's go over here to where I'm going to actually get one. So yeah, that na that main nanad or whatever thing, that one's on. a good one because, like I said, healing. And what I end up doing is giving that guy to Oliver. Because I don't think any of the human characters can actually learn an ability that heals everybody. Alright, so there we go. Now we finally got it. So now you hit the heart thing. You do heart thing, you do serenade. And... Ta-da, we win. So yeah. I'm going to get the sun guy. I'm going to get the banana guy. I'm going to get one of them cats that we were fighting near the Golden Grove area, and then I'm going to get a Bone Guy. I'm going to get the, all those characters, all those familiars off screen. And yeah, in the next episode, I will have these characters, or these familiars, and then, uh, uh, and then we'll continue on with our journey to Old Smoke. Because, uh, as I was playing, the, uh, the frickin', uh, these guys just didn't want to play ball in the beginning, but eventually they did. So we'll, we'll see the, the results of that in the next episode. So there you go. That, that's pretty much how you get familiar. It's not too hard. And like I said, I highly advise in the beginning to get a bunch of them. So I'm going to stop the video here. In the next episode, we will go up to Old Smoke. So I've been catching King 13 and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.